The motto for Tabitha is to live joyfully and age gratefully. I love that. My husband died four years ago. I updated my home at the request of my son and was going to sell it then, but decided to stay there. And then I went to a community Christmas dinner and some good friends were there. They told me they were coming here to live. They said, told me about Prairie Commons at Tabitha. So I went in search of a new home. I was praying about it. I processed with my friends and family and went to almost every community in Grand Island. And one day I said, I'm going to Tabitha. And some of my friends said, they already knew that. <laughs> they said, because of how I talked about it, because I was very excited. My cousin kept telling me to get what I like. And it definitely is what I like. Oh, I made a list of things I was looking for. I was looking for some kind of view and that far exceeded my expectations because I have a lake on both sides of my home that I can look at. I love the view, the light, the brightness. It's my personality in my home. Living alone for four years has been difficult and there are many here who their spouses have died and it's been tough on them to live alone. One of the main things that all of us really need in life is connection with people. But I knew that here that community of folks would be around, which they are. I get to talk to someone every day. We have one delicious, nutritious meal <laughs> at noon every day. I've just really loved getting to know the staff and the residents here. And I do work on learning their first names and calling them by name. I love that. I know that's important to everybody. And I came downstairs. There were four or five uh, residents gathered there. They said, you want to play Farkle with us? I'd never heard of Farkle. <laughs> it's a dice game. I've played it, I don't know, four or five times. So one night, we got to laughing and giggling so hard. We just. We loved that a lot. The group got smaller to four of us ladies, and we began sharing some of the deeper things in our lives, some of the hurts, some tears, and we were able to comfort one another with that. So I love that, that we can giggle and have fun, and then we can get into sharing our, feel safe to share our hearts with one another. Most important to me was to pray about it and let God direct me, and as I began, processing and talking to my family and friends and visiting other facilities, I would just tell them this is a fabulous place to come. The people are wonderful, the residents as well as the staff, the food. It is just a great place to live. And I would encourage folks in their 70s, I'm in my 70s, to consider independent living. About 95% of the people that choose to move into an independent living facility wish they would have done that sooner. So I'm really grateful that I have come here when I'm healthy and active and able to get around and do the fun things of life without all of the responsibilities of home owning. And for my generation, it's totally a shift in thinking because we've bought our owned our homes for a long time and that was an important aspect for our lives but it's a shift now to renting because I'm in a new season of my life and I'm free of those responsibilities of owning a home and just sold my house last week. So many of my friends and family want to come out and see me and <laughs> some of them have <laughs> so I'm excited for them to come eat with us in the dining room being here they can really experience the love the laughter the light the wonderfulness of living here <laughs>